गुड मॉर्निंग लेट्स स्टार्ट मैथ्स ग्रेड सिक्स चैप्टर सेवन फ्रैक्शन सब टॉपिक मेजरिंग यूजिंग फ्रैक्शनल यूनिट्स लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव आफ्टर डिसीजन लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू मेजर यूजिंग फ्रैक्शनल यूनिट्स एनालाइज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फ्रैक्शनल यूनिट्स मेजरिंग यूजिंग फ्रैक्शनल यूनिट्स टेक ए स्ट्रिप ऑफ पेपर वी कंसिडर दिस पेपर स्ट्रिप टू बी वन यूनिट लॉन्ग वी कंसिडर दिस एज ए वन यूनिट वन होल यूनिट वन स्ट्रिप ऑफ पेपर नेक्स्ट वी आर डिवाइडिंग दिस वन इन टू टू पार्ट दस ईच वन विल बिकम नौ हाफ सो दिस विल रिप्रेजेंट विद वन डिवेडेड बै टू द सैकेंड हाफ विल बी वन डिवेडेड बै टू बिकॉज वी आर डिवेडिंग दिस वन स्ट्रिप ऑफ पेपर इंटू टू ईक्वल पार्ट नेक्स्ट अगेन वी आर सब डिवेडिंग दिस वन इंटू अगेन हाफ सो दिस विल बी वन फोर्थ ऑफ दिस वन वन बै फोर नेक्स्ट विल बी टू टाइम्स ऑफ वन बै फोर नथिंग बट वन बै टू बिकॉज टू इंटू वन डिवेडेड बै फोर इज ईक्वल टू टू वन जा टू टू जा वन डिवेडेड बै टू टू वन बै टू नेक्स्ट विल बी थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ वन बै फोर थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ वन बै फोर इज थ्री बै फोर नेक्स्ट फोर टाइम्स ऑफ वन बै फोर इज वन विच इज वन स्ट्रिप ऑफ पेपर डू इट वन मोर फिल इन द ब्लैक बॉक्सेस ओके दिस इज A strip of paper dividing into eight parts. If we observe, there are eight parts are there: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then this will become one eighth of this. Next, the two times of one by eight. Next one will become three times of one by eight. Nothing but three by eight. Next will become. Four times of one by eight, nothing but one by two. Because four into one by eight is equal to four one zero, four two zero, nothing but one by two. Off. Next, five times of one by eight, that is equal to five by eight. Next one is six times of one by eight is equal to three by four. Because six into one by eight. Two three ja, two four ja, three one zero three. So answer is here three by four. Next one is seven times of one by eight. Nothing but seven by eight. The last one is eight times of one by eight is equal to one. Let us see example of fractional units. Fractional quantities can be measured using fractional units. Let us look at another example. Its circle represents full roti. Then this is half. This is one times half. This half there are two times is there. So one by two plus one by two. Nothing but two times half. Next one by two plus one by two plus one by two. That is equals to three times half. Next one by two. Plus one by two plus one by two plus one by two. Four times half. Next five times half. One by two plus one by two plus one by two plus one by two plus one by two. Five times half. Figure it out. First question. Continue this previous example table of half for two more steps. We have observed table of one by two for five times. As here, so two more steps of one by two is next will be will be repeated for six times. So one by two plus 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 one by two. Nothing but six times half. Next it will be repeated for seven times. One by two plus 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 one by two. Nothing but Seven times half. Let us see question number two. Can you create similar table for one by four? Solution. Let's represent full circle as a four. This green circle as a four. Next, we are considering this one fourth of this one. When we are dividing the circle into four, 
equal parts. So this is the shape of this one fourth. Okay. One fourth is equal to one times of quarter. This is two times of one by four. One by four plus one by four. That is equal to two times quarter. Next, one by four plus one by four plus one by four. That is equal to three times quarter. Next, one by four plus one by four plus one by four plus one by four. That is but four times quarter. Next one is one by four plus one by four plus one by four plus one by four plus one by four. That is but five times quarter. If we observe similarly, it is but six times one by four is there. One by four plus 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 one by four. This is six times quarter. Let us see question number three. Figure it out. Make one by three using a paper strip. Can you use this to also make one by six solution? Yes. Let's take a strip of paper. We are considering this as a one whole many. Now let's fold the paper strip into three equal parts to get one third of this one. So we are folding like this. Then each part will be will become one third of this strip. Therefore, this will be one third. To make one by six, again we will refold this one by three part into its two equal parts. So fold each one by three section into two equal parts to get one by six. Therefore, this single each part will be equal to one by six. Let us see question number four. Draw a picture and write an additional statement as above to show five times of one fourth of a roti and nine times of one fourth of a roti. Solution: Five times of one fourth of a roti is represented like five times of one fourth of this one. This is equal to one by four plus one by four plus one by four plus one by four plus one by four. Okay, but five times of one fourth of a roti. Next one, nine times of one fourth of a roti. So if we observe here, there are one fourth of the rotis nine times is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one by four plus one by four, like this, it will be keep on repeating for nine times. So nine times of one fourth of a roti is equal to one by four will be repeated just nine times. Let us see. Question number five. Match each fractional unit with its correct picture. The fractional unit is one by three, one by five, one by eight, and one by six. Given pictures are like this. Solution. First, let us divide fractional unit on this left hand side and this picture on the right hand side. First, let us write what is this fractional unit and picture. See here, one by three. One by three means each. Entire part will be divided into three parts. If we observe these pictures, which one is divided into three parts? We can easily say this is divided into three parts, and one of this one is shaded. So this is called as a one by three. Next one, one by five. So entire whole part will be divided into five parts. Among that one, one will be shaded. So if we observe these pictures. There are five parts in this one, and one part is shaded here. So this is one by five. Next, one by eight means one whole part is divided into eight equal parts, and this one part is shaded in that one. If we observe this first picture, this is divided into eight equal parts, and one part is shaded. Nothing but one by eight is this shaded picture. Next, last one is one by six. So one whole circle is divided into six parts. This is one part is shaded, so one by six is this one. Thank you.